Well, I, I did see a lot of people complain about using Electron. A lot of people saying it's bloat, say, saying all of these things. <laughs> I... I don't... I... I... How do I say it? I don't understand the people who are really obsessed with using none of the resources their system has. I understand not wanting to have an a application that is just needlessly running really badly. That makes sense, but it's not like an Electron application is using, you know, 20 gigabytes of RAM and 80% <laughs> of your CPU to run. Yeah, I, I don't understand, honestly. Right now, Bottles is using like uh, uh, 500 megabytes of RAM mm -hmm. just to, to run. If you start to use Bottles and play some random games, uh, open the registry, etc., it will use around one gigabyte of RAM. So I tested, um, I did some experiment with uh, Electron. And uh, it used like uh, around uh, uh, 300 megabytes. And you can add uh, a lot of uh, features. Uh, I, I, I made some terrible loops just to test uh, some <laughs> heavy loads. And that uh, um, has never reached the 500 megabytes of RAM. And the problem in the Electron website, in the documentation, they explain very well that uh, you must be very careful to use uh, Electron, mm -hmm. but uh, Node in general. Because uh, if you use Electron and uh, JavaScript uh, and things like that, uh, everything is fine. It's just a matter of rendering and simple calculation, simple operation. But if you use some node modules packages, which use the, some node native codes, that could use like uh, one, two, or more gigabytes of RAM. Mm -hmm. So it's just how you develop that program. I think that Heroic Game Launcher, uh, Flavio, the founder of the project, is very respectful of the system hardware. Mm -hmm. And Heroic does not use a lot of resources. That's very a uh, good uh, representation of how Electron should be used. Mm -hmm. And I use uh, Vue.js, uh, Chromium, etc. since uh, years now, right now. So I hope to do something like Heroic. <laughs> Heroic is a really cool project. I didn't know it was using Electron. That's... That's cool. Yeah, that's Electron. Hmm. I, I asked, uh, no, I should ask, I never asked, but I should ask Flavio. I'm friends with Flavio. We talk her randomly. Mm -hmm. And um, I should ask him, him to remove the system decoration from a Roy Game Launcher because Electron has this thing that you can use custom window decoration. Mm -hmm like uh, VS Code, uh, also in Linux, uh, Windows, Mac, mm -hmm. and that will be probably better, since uh, GTK decoration in uh, Electron application are terrible. What's, um, what, what, what's wrong with them? I, I don't know what the problem is here. Uh, they're just terrible looking. <laughs> okay, right, that, okay, I thought there was more to it than just, <laughs> they looked bad. That's, yeah, that's, that's fair enough. <laughs> yeah, you can use, uh, removing the um, window decoration, you can use a uh, radius uh, border. Mm -hmm. You can use a custom shadow, custom FX, uh, like uh, a sort of colored uh, uh, border of the window. You can do whatever you want. So mm -hmm. that's the cool part of uh, Electron. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So, actually, I guess one thing to worth talking about is also 
with this uh, new UI that you want to do, you sort of want... One of the things mentioned here is about the Steam Deck. The Steam Deck obviously wasn't a thing back when Bottles first started. But now that it's out, obviously a lot of people are using the uh using bottles on the steam deck and at least from the way it's written here it's not super well optimized for a smaller screen like that is that correct to say yeah Mm -hmm. that's correct so it was designed very much around what like a most monitors are like 24 to 27 inches so it's it's designed around that sort of scale yeah, mm-hmm. developing our own interface and our design language, because that's called our design language, we can create uh, uh, any sort of component to every selector, input, button. We, we develop everything, which some users can see this as a, a stupid effort because GTK and uh, like material design and some other toolkit already exist. Mm-hmm. But uh, in developing, uh, thinking our own uh, design language can help us to create what we want. Uh, like uh, if uh, in the future, uh, like the, this large coverage, the um, the, when you use Bottles Next in Steam Deck, uh, you use the large coverage mode, which is uh, the one you are talking about. Yes. And as m- but more big buttons, some features are disabled. Um, the library has uh, big buttons with uh, big covers. And that's something we can do only if we develop that language, mm-hmm. that design language. So that's probably require more effort of use, um, compared to using something that already exists, but and at the long time uh, can help a lot. Mm-hmm. And another thing I must say that the toolkit we are developing for bottles, it's obviously, uh, obviously open source. So everyone can use that in their own application, help uh, work, uh, help improving that. Uh, developing new application so that's still open source Mm -hmm. so i guess (laughs) when when you were saying before that you program not because you want to it's because you have to do it for you design I, i can't remember exactly how you phrased it but this sort of shows that you have a lot more interest in doing the design aspect than just the uh, the the programming part ah that's correct <laughs> <laughs> i First... had no fun mm-hmm. developing uh, the current version of bottles mm-hmm. i had to leave the project for some months because uh, i literally had no fun working with bottles because <laughs> At the start, uh, like the first years, uh, years of the project, uh, I could just add uh, some widgets, um, edit, uh, edit some widgets, uh, do whatever I want. Mm-hmm. But uh, in the last year, last two years, a lot of people started contacting me because ah, that's not how GNOME do that. Uh, that's not how you should do that. Uh, look at GNOME settings. Look at the these away from application. Look at this. And I had absolutely no fun working with bottles anymore. Mm-hmm. And that's because I had to de- leave GTK in that project. Because in another project, Vanilla S, we are using GTK for everything, and I love working on GTK on that side. Mm-hmm. But in Bottles, I just wanted to leave GTK and do whatever I want. Mm-hmm. 